Hi guys, so I wanted to show you how to start your clay fish. I took a solid chunk of clay and what I'm gonna do is kind of start to mold it into the body of a fish by picking one end that I want to be the tail. And I'm gonna kind of put a little bit of pressure on it to taper it or make that part thinner. I also wedged this clay before I started because we don't want any air bubbles. And then I can flip this up or start to push it up to kind of bend it into like a tail shape. And then what I'm gonna do is start to smooth out the cracks with my thumb. And then I'm gonna hollow this out. You guys should remember hollowing out a solid form when we did our salt and pepper shakers last year. But in case you don't, I'll show you how to do it one more time. So I gotta figure out what do I want to be the top and what do I want to be the bottom of the fish. My fish is gonna sit like this. I'm gonna build up the tail and then I'm gonna add um, some lips and eyes and things like that here. So I think what I'm gonna do is make this be the bottom. So I'm gonna flatten it a little bit so it can sit on the table without rocking back and forth. I'm not putting any water on this yet because I don't want it to get mushy. And then once I kind of figure out that, I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna start to hollow it out with a loop tool. I'm gonna use a medium loop tool to start. And I'm just gonna remove all of this clay. There's different ways you guys can make this fish. If you want, you can make a rounder style fish by joining two pinch pots put together. You could also take a ball of clay or an oval, cut it in half and hollow it out, and then slip and score it back together. It's really up to you how you wanna make it. We're gonna end up putting underglaze on these and we're gonna also scrofito some designs into them. But we'll do that once they're leather hard. So I'm gonna keep hollowing this out and then I'll come back and do another video that shows you guys how to finish it off, how to add it a little bit or add a little bit of details. What I'm gonna do to finish this off, just try to make all the walls maybe like a quarter of an inch to a half an inch thick. 